All right, I'm going to share with you how I casted this little miniature engine block using the Lost PLA method. Um, if you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to ask in the comments below, and uh, we'll jump right into it. All right, so the wax is around 260 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty pretty hot for uh, coating of PLA casting. This thing is pretty solid, though, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, you'll, you might have to play around with it yourself if you want to try this method. Um, but I found if you go like around that 210 degree mark, it creates a lot of runs and drips. So we're just going to maybe do this hopefully fast burn, without burning myself too much. Hopefully just touching edges. Try to make it so there's not too many too many runs here. The other good thing about doing it at this temperature is that you can kind of smooth it out a bit as it's cooling. And if you go much cooler you can't really can't really do that. So it leaves it pretty, pretty smooth. All right. I think I'm just going to go for it. The inside core of this thing is, um, or the inside of this mold is three, I'm registering 360, about 360 degrees Celsius. Engine block all set up with a little gate on top. Jesus, what am I doing? Let's see if she works down in there a little bit. Just kind of want to give it some pressure just to see what happens, see if it makes a difference. Too much cowbell. You're just throwing aluminum away. Maybe. Huh? How much pressure? I'll give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a feeder there. Maybe. I guess we'll see. Alright, so there it is right out of the mold. Just purely dipped in water. A little bit messed up on the cylinders, but not too bad. Not missing material anyway. Uh, yeah, I'll clean it up. And then we'll take a look at it. Just wanted to show you, uh, made a little BMW S54 B32 engine. Um, did a really rough job on 3D printing it. The print, it, print, it, print only took two hours two and uh yeah two hours i believe and i was printing with a massive nozzle so you see all the rough details in this i would love to see it with um with a fine print uh setting and see how it would turn out but it actually turned out pretty darn good you know all the features are there and i mean look at those you know the, where the crank or the main journals are it's it's a really thin piece and i'm really impressed with how how well it did at um, bridging that without any kind of failure. So just clean this up a little bit, you know, on the belt sander on the on both sides and and the deck surface. Uh, a couple air bubbles here and there, but yeah, not too bad.